A horse rescue operation faces major repairs from last night's rain. Yeah, Dream Catcher Horse Rescue has 150 horses on more than 300 acres of property. It's off Wigwam Road, south of Fountain. Now, Cardio News Channel 13's Emily Allen joins us live to show us the flood damage Fountain Creek is causing for the rescue. James and Heather, Fountain Creek continues to have very high water levels, and water has been washing out properties across southern Colorado. Now, I spoke to the owner of this horse rescue operation who says Fountain Creek has already swallowed 100 acres of her property. Hi, everybody. I know it's getting close to dinner time. For Julie Demusey, these horses Good girl. Good girl. are her main priority. Hi, Bunny. But Mother Nature is getting in the way. Go on. And the horses are supposed to be enjoying summer and, and enjoying their pasture, and this is what happened. That came up last night with the, the wall of water that came down from the city. That brown bank you can see way back there is where Fountain Creek is supposed to be flowing, but as you can see, it's way off course. And our concern is will it redirect itself back within its banks at some point in time, or is this going to be permanent? Demusey has already spent thousands trying to keep the creek in its banks. It's very frustrating. It's very, you know, it's, I got up this morning and looked out and looked up here and I'm like, really, Mother Nature, do you have to do this to us now? She's lost hay for her horses. We may get another cutting, but it may not be hay that's suitable for horses because of the amount of dirt and mud and silt. And any chance to save extra cash. Summertime is the time we recoup and we you know, recoup our stores of hay. We save money for the fall when we're going to buy more hay. While rain has washed her efforts away, Demusey says she'll get back in the saddle and start to rebuild. All the horses at this rescue are safe. They're either being kept at a different pasture as well as one of Demusey's neighbors. He has also volunteered some of his property to house these horses. Live along Fountain Creek, Emily Allen, KRDO, News Channel 13. All right, thank